Hello friends. Today we will discuss about various string functions. Fine. So today we are going to discuss uh, like length function, character length function. What is the difference between length and character length? Substring function. Uh, how to convert uh, a string into uppercase and lowercase? How to replace uh, a string? Uh, or we can say a substring into a string and uh, how can we find any element from a comma separated list. So this many string functions we are going to study today. So let us begin with the very first that is length function. So if we want to find the length of a string then we can use length function. Now that length function is going to give us or is going to return the number of bytes the number of bytes it is going to occupy uh, to store that particular string fine so let us see the example of that now I'm going to write one string inside this so I'm going to write we shall fine okay so now let us see what output we get. Okay, so we got the output 6 because one character is going to occupy one byte. Now, uh, over here, suppose in place of this A, I am going to write this A, fine. So let us see what result we get over here. So here we got result 7 actually the uh, if we are going to calculate the number of characters in this so that is 6 but this particular a is going to occupy 2 bytes of space in the memory fine so the length of this particular string is 7 so uh, the length is going to give the total number of bytes occupied by a specific string fine now let us uh, uh, go further the next function is character length so that character length function is going to give us that character length function is going to give us the number of characters in the string the number of characters in the string so in case of length we got output 7 now let us uh, compare the output that we get in case of character length so here we got output 6. So this one is going to calculate or this one is going to return the number of characters in a string. So uh, there is a, a difference between length and character length. The character length is going to return uh, the number of characters in the string and the length is going to return the n number of bytes occupied by a string. Uh, in return fine now let us move towards the next function the next function we have is uh, substring function fine so the syntax of substring is like uh, substring and in bracket we have to provide three uh, parameters the very first parameter is the string in which we want to uh, uh, find the substring fine then we are having starting position from the position where we want to start and the third parameter is optional parameter that is the length fine up to which how much length or up to how many length we want to find out the string so let us see the example of that fine suppose i'm having uh, one string and in that string i'm going to use uh, uh, I'm going to find out some substring into that fine okay so that substring is a function the very first uh, uh, parameter is what very first parameter is the source string from which we are going to find out the data fine so that would be suppose I'm going to write we shall okay now I have to give the starting position suppose I'm going to give starting position fine so it starts from 2 and it will go till the last character of that particular string okay let us click on the go button to see the result so here i can see 
it has started from second and it is going till the end of till the end of a string so uh, it starts calculating it starts calculating uh, the characters from 1 2 3 4 5 in that way so uh, the very first character is v second character is i so it has started from second character and it is going till the end of the string fine now uh, we can have the negative indexing also this is the this was the example of uh, positive indexing but we can have the negative indexing also so i can write minus 2 so it will start counting from the last characters uh, it start counting from the last character fine so let us see the result of this so uh, 1 and 2 so this 2 it starts from minus 2 and it go up to the end of the string fine so this way we can have negative indexing in this now uh, the another thing or another way of uh, representing um, this particular is say we shall we shall from uh, 3 fine so this one is also going to give me the result the string starting from the third character fine okay now uh, we can have the that optional uh, uh, optional parameter that is the length of the string so suppose i'm going to write uh, the starting point 2 and it i want number of character or the length of the character is say 4 fine so if i'm going to execute this query then let's see what result i get so it will take i s h a that is of four characters fine so i got the result i s h a so this one is going to give me the length of the string fine now uh, you can have uh, the negative indexing also in this particular case suppose i want to start from third third last character or say i can say fourth last character and i want the length three fine so let us see what result we get in this case so it will start from uh, it will it will do negative indexing in this case so it started from fourth last position that is called l a s h it started from fourth last position and it uh, considered the length 3 same way in this case we can also have the different structure that structure can be uh, shall from uh, fourth position or we can say second position and for uh, four characters fine so let us see the result of this so this way we can get the same result fine this is another way of representing a substring we can also have the negative indexing in this fine suppose uh, i'm going to write minus two it starts from minus two and it wants to go for four characters but we don't have four characters fine so let's see the result so this last two characters has been displayed fine we don't have four characters so till last character it will go so this way we can use a substring function in mysql now the next function that we have is uh, uppercase function or if you want to convert any string into uppercase then we can use upper function fine so it will be like select upper and then in bracket i simply have to provide the string so that will be like we shall fine so this one has this one is converted into uh, an uppercase okay now there is another function to convert in uppercase is u case okay so this one this one also going to convert uh, in uppercase okay the next function that we have is to convert in lowercase fine suppose i'm having a string that string is 
in upper case and i want to convert it into lower case so for that it will be like lower and then click on go button so this one has converted it in lower case same way we can use l case over here so this one is going to convert into lower case now the next important function that we have is replace function if we want to replace if you want to replace a specific string in a in specific substring in a string then in that particular case we can refer this particular function fine so that function is replace function the uh, the syntax of this function is uh, replace and in bracket it will have three parameters the very first parameters parameter is source string the second parameter is from string and the third parameter is to string the from string means the string which you want to replace and the to string is uh, to which you want to replace uh, through which which particular string you want to replace into that fine so let us see the example of that so i'm having uh, select then uh, replace and in bracket i'm going to write uh, uh, one string that is a vishal again i want to replace that sh i want to replace sh with capital s fine so what it will do it will find out number of occurrences of sh it will find out number of occurrences of sh in the string and it will be replaced with capital s so now let us see the result fine so sh is replaced with capital s now suppose i'm having one more sh over here let's see what result we get so that is also been replaced fine now for example suppose i'm having capital sh let's see what it does so it is not going to replace the replace function is case sensitive the replace function is case sensitive fine okay now let us move towards the last function uh, of today's video that is if you want to find out elements in comma separated list fine suppose we are having one comma separated list and from that comma separated list if you want to find out a, a specific character or specific string then in that particular case uh, we can go for uh, the find inset function so what that find inset function is going to do let us see the demonstration of that so it will be like select and uh, then find in set and in bracket i need to provide the character the very first is the string that you want to find in the list and then i have to provide uh, the series or we can say a comma separated list fine so i can have a comma b comma e comma c fine so this is a comma separated list and this one is the character that we want to find out in the in that in that list fine so let us see what output it is going to give us so this one is going to give us the output one that is true fine either it will give uh, either it will give the output zero or one if we don't find suppose i'm going to write d over here so that d is not there d is not there in the comma separated list so this one is going to return zero this one is going to return zero fine so this way we can find a specific string in uh, in, in a comma separated list also so thank you very much for watching the video today we have discussed length character length substring uppercase lowercase replace and find insert functions for string operations in mysql please don't forget to subscribe thank you very much again